Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Welcome back. Problem three dash fourteen. So in this problem, it is given that the rigid pipe is supported by a pin at A and A thirty six steel guy wire B D. If wire has a diameter of zero point two five inch, determine how much it stretch when a load of six hundred pound acts on the pipe. So from diagram, you can see the pipe is pin support at point A and steel guy wire B D is supporting it. The diameter of wire is zero point two five inch and P load is applied. So you have to find how much this wire B D stretch. So let's start from the given data. So from given data, it is given that this wire is wire is A thirty six steel guy wire. B D clear and having diameter diameter of this wire B D is equal to zero point two five inch. The load is given that is six hundred pound. Also, we will need some properties of A thirty six. So for that, we have to go to the end of the book and in properties section of U S customary. So from here, you can see that structure steel A thirty six having E is equal to twenty nine into ten to the power three k s i, and its yield strength is thirty six k s i. So we will write down it also. Uh, Yield strength is equal to thirty six ksi, and modulus of elasticity E is equal to twenty nine into ten ten twenty nine into ten to the power three ksi. So what we have to find, we have to find the how much it stretches. So that means that uh, change in length of B D. We have to find this. So let's start with the solution. As we are in, interested in finding out the strain in this wire B D, so uh, obviously we will need to find the uh, force in this wire. So for that we will draw the free body diagram in order to find this force in B D. So first we will draw the free body diagram. So if I have this pipe. Here, this is the pipe E C. At point A, we have pin support, so definitely there will be horizontal force, which is equal to A X, and we will have a vertical force E Y. Also, at this end, we have a 600 pound force P acting pound force. Cos P is equal to 600, so this force is acting. And at this point, this is let this is point D. So at point D, there is a wire. So the force in this wire will be equal to F V D. So from this to this distance, that is given as three feet, and from this to this, is, it's again three feet. The height from A to B is four. So I will write it. If I draw a right angle triangle over here, so this length is three feet. This length is four, and from Pythagoras theorem, this hypotenuse will be five. Clear? So this is the free body diagram. So now we will apply equilibrium condition in order to find this F B D. So for that I will. Apply the condition that sum of all movement about point A is equal to zero, and taking the counterclockwise movement as positive. So if we take the movement about point A is equal to sum of all movement point A is equal to zero, so these are these forces are not producing movement about point A because it is passing through point A. Only the force which is producing movement about point A is this force and the vertical component of This force, one force will be this one, or you can say this one. This is horizontal and this is 
vertical. So vertical component of B, F, B, D. So first 600 into perpendicular distance is 6. So 600 into perpendicular distance is 6 feet. And it is producing clockwise movement so it will be negative. The second one is the vertical component of this force. So vertical component of this force will be equal to F, B, D. Let this is the theta angle. So F, B, D sine of theta clear and uh, since this force is producing uh, this force is upward clear so it is producing a counterclockwise movement so it will be positive and perpendicular distance is 3 feet their sum must be equal to 0 now you can see this if you take the sine theta sine theta will be equal to perpendicular over base so instead of sine theta I will write 4 over 5 so minus 3600 plus FBD into instant of sine theta I will write 4 over 5 because sine of theta is equal to perpendicular over 5 partings so it will be equal to 4 over 5 multiply by 3 is equal to 0 so when you solve this you will get FBD is equal to 1500 pound now you have this force in this wire you can also find the normal stress in order to check whether the stress in this wire exceed the yield strength or yield stress or not so for that we will find sigma bd and sigma bd is equal to fbd over area of bd so stress is equal to 1500 and area is equal to pi by 4 diameter is given where this is diameter this is inch there so diameter is given as 0 0.25 inch so the 0 0.25 whole square so when you solve it you will get this will be equal to 30.56 into 10 raised to power 6 uh, sorry 3 psi or you can say that this stress in BD is equal to 30.56 KSI. Now we have stress in this wire BD and you can see uh, that yield strength of this A36 wire was 36 KSI which is again written above. You can see over here. So this stress sigma BD is less than sigma yield. So it means that this lies in the uh, elastic limit and Hooke's law can be applied. Hooke's law can be applied. Why to apply this Hooke's law in order to find the strain? So, as we know that sigma BD is equal to E into epsilon BD or strain in BD. So, we are interested in to find the strain in BD. So, strain in BD is equal to sigma BD over E. We have sigma which is equal to 30.56 layer. And we have a strain which is also given as uh, sorry E 29 into 10 to the power 3 KSI clear so when you solve this you will get this strain epsilon BD is equal to 1.05 4 into 10 to the power minus 3 inch per inch or it should be only 1.504 into 10 to the power 3. Now we have strain clear and from this strain we will calculate the uh, uh, deformation or deflection or displacement in wire BD. So we know that strain BD is equal to change in length of BD divided by original length of BD. Here, 
so original length of bd can be found you can see this is three feet and this is four feet so by pythagoras theorem you can find this will be equal to five feet i have also written over here so this five feet is equal to 12 into uh, one feet is equal to 12 inch 12 into 5 is equal to 60 inch okay so we are interested in finding this uh, change in length or the stretch so sigma bd is equal to epsilon bd into length of bd so epsilon is equal to 1.054 into 10 to the power minus 3 into length is equal to 60 inch so when you solve this you will get the strain is equal to 0 0.0632 inch not strain change in length or the amount of stretchness in this wire bd so change in length of bd is equal to 0 0.0632 inch so this is the answer of our question I hope you have learned from it and also enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.